Hello, my name is Burin. I am an artist. I studied for art. But uh, during my life, I learned how to cook since I worked for the different restaurants in London. One of the dishes that I'm going to do here today is a special Albanian dish which is called Tav Kosi or Tav El Basani. So we basically came here with the scooter uh, drive-by, so this nice shield with uh, restaurant Romeza traditional Albanian cuisine ask inside so I was like oh, I should stop by at least because that seems like what I like to do is eating the real stuff and then it took like five seconds until the niece of Burim came hello so we have more choice inside and I think uh, if you came and to try all this is so traditional I am sure you will not be disappointed. Come and try. And that made us stay actually. This is a lamb uh, which is uh, produced in Albania. And I think that Albania has probably one of the best or the most delicious lamb in the region. Uh, this is pre cooked, it is uh, made uh, ready for the next phase of the process of making Tav Kosi or uh, Tav El Basani. What we need for this uh, dish is yogurt because we are going to make a, a bechamel sauce like but with yogurt, not with milk. What kind of yogurt is it? Is it this is homemade uh, uh, and home set uh, yogurt. It is uh, my preference uh, from the sheep's milk. And if you want, you can try. It is completely different taste of the yogurt. Uh, salt, black pepper, mix spices, and then add some dried rosemary. Why dry, not fresh? Uh, since the fresh one uh, is very heavy, and it might affect the smell and the taste. Because the original recipe takes uh, a touch of the spoon of uh, soda bicarbonated instead of it. I use carbonated water and here I have some milk which is going to be used in just a few spoons in order to make the sauce more thinner. I'm going to try now to make the dish. I add up a little bit of salt, a little bit of spices little bit of black pepper and the spices are uh, red pepper, yellow pepper, uh, yellow pepper, a little bit of salt, uh, sea salt and different spices such as oregano and thyme. Now we will add the content of uh, this jar which is uh, yogurt. Then we will add a little bit of butter, a little bit of milk, and similar amount of carbonated water. Now we will whisk this. happened to <laughs> oops the daisy this happened to <laughs> uh, never mind so to the sauce we add a spoon of flour okay. and a little bit more and that is enough with the ingredients Okay, I 
think it's ready. Yeah, that was good. Since we lost the whisper. Yes, <laughs> but then I'm going to. You happy? Is there? Is there? It All is right. called tar. Uh, it's terracotta clay. You make them here in Albania also? In Albania, in, you can find them anywhere actually. In yep. the Mediterranean. We pour this to the terracotta plate. Okay. And that should be enough. Okay. And then we take the plate. Together. With a How many degrees should be in the stone? Well, it should be somewhere between 220 and 240, I think that would be mm -hmm. enough. 220, 240, and yes. how long does it take you to cook it? Uh, it's going to take around 15 minutes at all least. Right. Now, one thing that I have to mention, in different parts of the country of Albania, they add a few spoons of uh, rice. But I don't like that. I think this changes the taste and the texture of the dish. For that reason I left it out not to use that. But uh, you might find that a uh, different place and different people uh, do that with rice too. Yeah, that's why I always say you can't say a soup has to be as it has to be because every family do it different. Okay, slowen and we wait for another 10 to 15 minutes. Once the meat is baked from the up, uh, upper part, we have to change it to uh, put it back to the one position. So as we talked before, you go in the winter time to paint art in London. Yes. But in the summertime, your passion is to make food in Albania. Of course, and to earn some money too. And to? Earn some money to. And earn some money too, yeah. I get it. Sure. Okay. For okay. well, another few minutes, and I think it's ready. Organic tomato. From Albania. From Albania. How many days are they fresh? Uh, they stay for a few days fresh. After a few days, you have to use them in a tomato sauce for any dish that goes with it. But it is very fresh and very cheap. A kilo of tomato in Albania, natural tomato, Cost at around 80 cents. Yeah. Now my experience in London, it's around 10 pounds per kilo. And believe me, it's not the same taste. Not so much, but just a little bit for the aroma.
pull it all out. So I'm actually happy that we stayed then here and tried the food and that's how actually this video came to you guys on YouTube. We will now enjoy the food. Or as you said, we will dig in.